Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to create a combination chart. Now a combination chart is basically a chart that combines two or more chart types. So for example this has a bar chart, these blue bars or columns, and these and this is a line chart so they're combined into one and see the bar ch the column chart is the sales volume and the line chart is the uh, median sales price. And this is taken from this table here, which has our months and our sales volume and our sales price. So let's go into how we can create this combination chart. And incidentally, uh, you can have more than one chart type. I mean, more than two chart types. I only show two here, but you can have more than two chart types in your chart. But usually when I see more than two, it usually gets a little bit more confusing. So it's probably best to stick to one or two chart types on a chart. So let's go ahead and see how we can get to this chart. Now I've already copied the table over and what you, we need to do is create the initial chart out of this. So I can just select in the cell and I can either go into insert a column or line or whatever one I want to do or I can just press the Alt F1 key combination and that's going to bring up the default chart. It's a nice keyboard shortcut if you just wanted to go ahead and just create any chart. And what it does is it just creates the default chart in Excel, which is a column chart. Now what we can do here is we can just start to modify it. So you can see here we have our median sales price already, and we have our sales volume, which is right here below. And the reason why it's so so small is because it's being dwarfed by the median sales price, which is in the six digits and the sales volume here. Let me increase that, which is in the as high as it goes is the three digits, 137, 103. So what we want to do is we want to change that into a line chart. So we want to have our, actually we want to have our, we want to have this as a line chart, our medium sales volume, and we want to have this, our medium sales price, and we want to have our sales volume as a bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on the medium sales price column, any one of these columns, and it's going to select all of them. If you click it again, it's going to select one. Oops, close that. So let me click uh, click outside and just click once here, and it selects all of them. And I want to do is change the chart type here. Go there, and I want to change it to a line. Let's click that. Click OK, and now we have a line chart. Now what we also want to do is we want to have this line chart and have its own y-axis. So right now, the x-axis is based on the sales price. So we want to have this axis, the sales price, on its own its own y-axis. So what we're going to do is click it and we can either right click or press control 1, or excuse me, yes control 1, the number 1 key, and we want to go under format data series. Now if I just wanted to use the keyboard shortcut control 1, I just press that and the same window is going to come up as if I right clicked it, you see it's all selected. If I right click it and we have format data series. Now with the format data series up, I want to have this chart plotted on the secondary axis. So we have our primary, we have our primary axis here and I'm going to have it ch charted on the secondary axis. And now we see if we created a secondary axis here. Go ahead and close that and now we can see that the secondary axis is based on the sales price. This primary axis is based on the sales volume. Now, after this, basically it's just formatting. You just want to make it look a little nicer. So I usually like to get rid of the grid lines and I usually like to have the axis titles. So I'll go to the layout, axis titles. My primary uh, vertical axis, let's make that once it's selected here, it's going to just give you this default, default title. And I want to say sales I want to say sales volume here, so what I can do is I can just go up in here into the formula bar, press equal sign, and just click that to reference it. So if I ever wanted to change the title here, it would dynamically reflect here, so I don't have to change it. So let's say, for example, I changed it sales volume, and I just put uh, sales volumes or something like that. You can see that it added that S there. Now, if I didn't, if I didn't have this reference, uh, this B1 cell here, every time I change here, I have to change it one place, and I have to change the chart, and I have to change it in two places, basically. So, 
that's the nice thing about having your chart titles reference the cell where the field header is. I'm going to do the same here. Same here. In click in the chart. See, I don't have the my context menu. Click in the chart and see now I have the chart tools context menu, and go to layout, access title, secondary vertical, and I'm going to have it equal median sales price. Reference that particular cell reference. Press enter. You can see it's done that there. And now the rest of it is just formatting. If you wanted to make it look nice, let's say for example, I want to have it look kind of like a 3D-ish. I can have it for 3D-ish. I can see these markers are a little bit big. I don't want to have them that big. I can click on the uh, markers. You can see they're all highlighted. Right click, go under Format Data Series, and go into the marker options. Maybe that's too big. I don't want 13 font. Or maybe I want to change that to a diamond and have it just a little bit smaller. Maybe nine is good enough. And I don't, maybe if I don't like the red color, I can have uh, all the colors change. Maybe I want to have it to gold or orange. I want to have the line color also orange. And the marker line color, see how there's a border around the marker? Maybe I don't need that. So I'm just going to, oops, I can just say no line. So after I click on that, I, I can get close. And you can see that I have my I have my um, combination chart, so both as a column chart and a line chart. So that's how you can create a combination chart and also do some modifications on it. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.